This video looks at computational thinking. So what is computational thinking? Well, it's an approach to problem solving. Um, it's about taking pr problems, complex problems, and being able to use different techniques, uh, which we'll look at, abstraction, decomposition, pattern recognition, and algorithmic thinking, to fully understand the problem first of all, and then to create an effective solution. And it's not just used in computer science when we're programming in all areas of science there's many many problems that need to be solved and computational thinking can help to actually break those complex problems down so they're easy more easily understood and so that solutions can be found can all problems be solved by a computer well in short no not all problems can be solved by a computer um, but if a problem does require a software solution, it does need to be first of all decided if it is solvable computationally. In other words, can you solve the problem by means of an algorithm? And if you can, then computational thinking techniques can be used. But remember, not all problems can actually be solved computationally. So there are three main techniques that we will look at in GCSE that underpin computational thinking. They are abstraction, decomposition, and algorithmic thinking, and we'll look at each of those in turn now. So abstraction. What is abstraction? Well, this is about moving from the real world into the virtual world. And by doing that, we are simplifying the complex and only dealing with the important when neglecting the unnecessary. And a really good example of abstraction is the London Underground map. So before the modern day underground map that we all know uh, was produced, we used to have a, a map for the underground which um, was actually a lot more um, realistic in terms of the lengths of the track, the directions of the track, the space between the different stations. But this new map, which is a really good example of abstraction, um, shows how we've actually simplified things to make things a lot more um, easier to follow and easier to use. So the map, the new map, ignores features that aren't important to passengers, such as the distance between stations. It provides a simplified view of the journey so it's more easy to follow. Unnecessary information has been removed. And this is a really important feature of computational thinking. If you're going to solve really difficult problems, really complex problems, you have to be able to focus on what's important and uh, ignore the unnecessary details. Another important computational thinking technique is decomposition. And this is where you break problems down into smaller problems so that they are more easily solved. And this top-down design demonstrates that you can see that we've got a large problem, a complex problem, and we're breaking that down into further smaller problems, and those in turn are being broken down again. So breaking problems down into smaller problems is decomposition. And this mimics how we write programs often. We have a, an idea for a program, we break it down into um, different sections, and then those different sections may be broken down further into different functions that each contain their own functionality for the program. It's easier then to test the program, and it's much easier to write a program if we do it by breaking it down into smaller um, problems. And the last computational thinking technique is algorithmic thinking. So what is an algorithm? Well, an algorithm is simply a recipe to get an intended result, a recipe for a software solution. It's the steps that are required to get a desired outcome. And as we've learned earlier, for a problem to be computable, an algorithm must be produced. And creating algorithms, it's all about logical thinking, thinking logically. So to think computational is to think in a structured, organized, and logical manner. And it's important that we write algorithms when we're programming because without one, coding a solution is almost impossible. With one, coding becomes an easy job. 